Hello everyone, my name is Viren Dayal. I am a custom broker and a logistics skill counsel certified trainer in customs law, applied rules and regulations. Today the topic I have taken covers under chapter 8 of the Customs Act and is titled as Transit and Transshipment of Goods. Let us now discuss the legal provisions for transit and transshipment of goods when they arrive in India. For latest updates, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So the word transit implies that when a particular cargo comes in one particular conveyance and from the same conveyance, it is transited to another custom spot or somewhere outside India, then the provisions of section 53 are covered known as transit. Transshipment under section 54 means a multi-mode transport for taking the goods from one particular conveyance then to another conveyance and then finally bringing it to say the hinterland of the country. So when the goods arrive by ship and are taken by the container corporation India Concor on the railway and are carried by Concor on the railway wagons or rakes and then they go to a particular custom station known as inland container depot in the hinterland of India and this is termed the transshipment because the mode of transport has changed hands from ship then maybe to a train or then to a truck. Transit and transshipment is generally handled by the carriers such as shipping companies, airlines and so on and they execute a bond and also issue a bill of transshipment that the goods upon reaching that particular place of destination in the hinterland of India, they will get a confirmation of certificate or re warehousing certificate that they have correctly reached and then the bond can be cancelled. The shipping lines or the carrier must also issue a certificate that the goods are not prohibited and upon that declaration the goods are transited or transshipped from one place of India to another. What is the duty liability of the goods reaching the place of transit or transshipment is what is given in section 55 and it is important to know this. As you are aware that when a conveyance comes to any Indian port or airport on its first arrival in India and it gets an entry inwards under section 31, the duty will be calculated on the rates which are prevalent on the day on which a final entry is granted to a conveyance upon its arrival in India. That means for the very first time. The same legal provisions are also available in case of goods in first place of entry and then go to hinterland by train or vehicle or both. So section 55 makes it very clear that although the goods have been unloaded on day one, let us presume at a particular port and they are transshipped to by train or by truck to another custom station and it may take four days or five days or seven days to reach that particular uh, custom station which is part of the custom area. But the rate of duty in this case will be the rate available on the very first entry of that particular conveyance in India that is the place of port and it's on the day it discharged the cargo when it got a final entry and not when the goods reach the ultimate destination of an ICD or hinterland. So these are the provisions of transit, transshipment and the rate of duty applicable. So the shipping companies or the carriers, they issue a bill of transshipment when the goods are moving from one place to another. But when the goods are moving from a port of discharge and they are destined for Bhutan or Nepal where India has got bilateral relationships and they have a treaty uh, since they are landlocked countries, they use India's waterways and India's uh, system to bring the goods to their country. In such cases, a bill of transshipment is not filed by the carrier or the shipping line but a declaration of transshipment is filed so the goods are not meant for India and they are meant for other countries like Nepal or Bhutan. 
these are the provisions of transit and transshipment embodied under section 53 54 and 55 in chapter 8 of the customs act 1962 for detailed learning of all logistics subjects visit www.logivader.com